for the next 12 days. We've been invited out here again by Mr. B from Cozy Campus. Mr. B, Mr. B. <laughs> We're so excited. We got to Reykjavik last night, met Mr. B. We've gone for some lunch today and just have a, had a catch up, didn't we? Yeah, he's our, our best friend in the whole world and we love him. Such a legend. So we came last year and we did the whole ring road and it was bloody brilliant best trip ever if you haven't seen our series then just click above and you can watch it all there watch whatever went down it was bloody brilliant if you're wondering what a cozy camper is check this out around the West Fjords and the north of Iceland because we did the south and the southwest east before. So we've had the most mental morning. We went, yeah, we went for breakfast with Mr. B and then we ended up going to meet one of the directors of a festival called Secret Solstice. The lineup is insane. It's pretty spectacular. The headline is a prodigy and the Foo Fighters. So we went and met this guy and he showed us around the venue and he was like, I'm going to give you some VIP tickets. Yeah, just like, VIP tickets. Holy shit! <laughs> so we're absolutely buzzing with that. It's so cool. Yeah, so we're going to do, do our bit, like go up, really explore the top of Iceland, the most mental parts. And then we're coming back and we're just going to rock out at a concert for three days. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. So we pulled over already. We're only like an hour from Reykjavik and the scenes are mental. There's like snow-capped mountains and lakes and big windy roads. Yeah. People keep asking us, where's your favorite place to go? This is the answer. Uh, yeah, it's been hard to answer until we found Iceland. So if you've never been, save your money. You've oh, got to come sure, here. It's so sure. cool. Amy ha cold, obviously <laughs> hasn't packed properly again. She bought 22 kilos of luggage, didn't bring a coat. Oh, I don't know, I just... <laughs> what a shambles, what a shambles. I forgot the glitter as well, it is a shambles. So. <laughs> In the heat she's like, oh, Craig, Craig, it's too hot. And the cold she's like, I didn't bring my coat. We're good at you like that. So since coming last, we've really perfected the Icelandic language. And uh, the next stop, the first stop on our trip, is going to be... Glenmore. Let's go and check it out. <laughs> Look at this little runaway. Bonus supermarket. supermarket. Straight for the cookies. Oh, it's cold. I don't 100% know what this is. We'll probably eat them within the next few days. Oh, we can't go hungry quick. All right, Mr. Craig. So, uh, what facts can you give us about this waterfall? Primarily made from uh, H2O, which has been filtered from the skies through the rocks and then formed into a lovely running scene of water and ice. Well, uh, that's a pretty good start if I've ever seen one. What hiking boots? Um, says you've got to hike, so uh, what's all that about? If you've ever watched these vlogs, you know that I don't hike. I don't even, ba I barely walk. I've got the right shoes on. When you see these Instagram photos, you're just like, well, that looks nice. Nobody said anything about walking there. How far do you think it is? 16 miles, I guess. Let's go back then. Amy thinks that this fence is gonna electrocute her if she it. Looks it looks like an electrical fence. Go on, push it. We all right. Bang! <laughs> you you're gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, 
but just in case you've watched this for a bit of inspiration on where to go in Iceland and it's like December 2025 we're here in June I think that's what I'm guessing this is lavender it's so pretty but um, the weather's not too bad this is the summer the start of summer so um, it's a bit breezy and it is a bit of an ice cold breeze but the sun's lovely is it 10 degrees 10 degrees Bloody freezing, mum! It's difficult. <laughs> so I uh, just bumped into a lady. She told me it's two hours to the peak. Um, to the waterfalls. One and a half I hours. Just, uh, maybe just do enough research, maybe. This is outrageous. I ain't walking two hours, bro. That ain't me. What do you like? <laughs> I just saw a picture on Instagram and I was like, oh, that'd be lovely. We'll go there. <laughs> Two hours. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> we bumped into some the first set of walkers and they were like, oh, it's not that far. Not that far. Second lady was like, yeah, two hours to the peak. Okay. But the peak is like up there. But the waterfalls are that way. So I reckon we walk for a bit further. We might as well. I think she's lying. Do you reckon? There's hope in my heart. I think she's lying. You better be right. You better hope she's wrong. You know, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, it's you! You are the one I love! You are the Get one the I need! She's going cross country now, she thinks she's bloody... Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be your tour guide for this afternoon. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing a little bit of cross country. What shoes have you got on yet? They'll do absolutely fine. If you just like to follow me. I mean, you can't even go that way. Yeah, you can. Don't come travelling with any faster. Don't fall in on my jacket. So Amy brought 22 kilos of luggage. Still wearing my clothes, isn't she? Why'd you pack wrong every time? She took us off road and we got to a river. So we have to go back to where we were going in the first place because we couldn't get across it. Top tour guide, I want my money back, Amy. I've never tour guided in Iceland, sorry about that. <laughs> tour guided. It's lush though, being in the outdoors. But Amy's problem is she complains in the heat and then she complains in the cold as well. So this is why we had to turn round, but pretty bloody beautiful. I we could jump over that. I reckon you could swim it. No, the lady said it was really cold. So uh, we saw a little sign that said like that and then I think the word's glimmer. Glimmer. Uh, so um, I'm happy enough to believe that this is glimmer. <laughs> I know it isn't, but um, how cool is that? Will you please? When do you see that though? There's no houses, no people, like no dogs. Absolutely fantastic, Craig. So uh, we're going to try and get a photo. What just happened? So I've only flown this Karma like three times and I've never let the battery go low enough for it to like land itself and so we were taking photos and then it was like Karma's battery is critically low landing and look how small this area is so usually like with the Mavic when it's low battery it'll land itself but you can still fight it you can still fly back up and control the landing and it was coming down so fast so I was trying to like slow it down and then it started tilting like over the edge of the cliff. Oh my god. So I basically crash landed it and snapped one of the blades on it. Um, but it's only one blade, so we've got spears, so we're all good. <laughs> but this is the picture we got. We were so close, but yet so far. <laughs> we would have kept going, but we're like 12 hours behind schedule. So we're going to get back on the road and head. Where's the next stop? A crater or something. Oh, I have no idea. I haven't had time to look at the itinerary today. We've been so busy. Like no. We literally haven't stopped. And now we're like, right, eight day trip in Iceland. What, what are we going to do? <laughs> so we've just got here and we're kind of winging it a little bit. Can you tell? We're always having a great time though. All I need, Craig, is a pot noodle and a cup of tea, and I'm happy!
Amy's shopping consisted of cakes, biscuits, and pot noodles. <laughs> oh my god, the stable hiker's diet. What's the plan then, drive? Look at you in the driver's seat. I know, this this thing is massive. I don't know why you've let me drive it at all. It's nice though, it drives really nicely. You've just got to be very careful that you don't hit anybody. That's the idea, isn't it? So, um, well, the next place on our itinerary is Eldborg, which is a crater, big crater in the middle of this field. And it looks really cool, but I've just Googled it and you have to, um, you have to walk 2.5 kilometers to get to it. So scrap that. Top research. The next place is on the star <laughs> So we're gonna go there, and I think it's just like, like where where there used to be a wall. There's a hole in the bottom of it. It's cooler than that, but that's where we're heading. Put your jaffin seatbelt on there. Road trip. to Iceland every single time you turn around the corner you're like wow wow whoa amazing it's just like non-stop scenic scenes isn't it no it's been absolutely crazy if you could see it like because we can film as much as we want to try and show you what it looks like but having the panoramic views and being able to see this change your life it's something about like the mountains and that isn't it you're looking forward and it's insane you look in your wing mirror and you can see behind you and it's insane but the roads are just endless, they just go and go and go. And there's nobody here. There's no one around, yeah. Yeah, no houses. Like, look over there, like, show them that over there. Just uh, maybe a house or three. Houses just dotted about. Look at the road, just go forever and ever. Now, if you're going to come to Iceland, you're going to need a sick playlist, mate. Yeah. We're currently, what are we listening to? Belting out the power ballads, aren't we? Power ballads. I want to know what love is. And we're actually trying to harmonise, which um, is going drastically badly, <laughs> but we think we sound lush. What you show me? <laughs> what are we having for dinner? Pasta. Pasta. I'm so tired. Look how light it is outside. It's quarter to ten. Like, it, it won't get dark here. The sun will just dip below the horizon and come straight back up. Cheers for the info. Why am I cooking when I'm knackered and I've just drove two and a half hours? Get in here now. <laughs> so we got some bad news, we got a broken drone. I'm on the phone to DJI support and they're saying that there's a technical error, no, a hardware error, which is bloody useless. So I know we've got the the car map, we've only got one battery and it lasts about 20 minutes and sometimes you just need a lot longer than that so lucky we've got the car map otherwise we wouldn't be getting any drone footage but this this thing's just flapping about and we've been whipping up a storm what are we having then? pasta and what? pasta and tikka masala sauce, sorry Bella <laughs> sorry, don't be sorry, it's all banging you can either have that or pesto sauce but that's it. Good to meet you. No protein sauce. Here we go, dinner's sort of half scram bam. Don't say it, don't give you anything. Cheers. Back to the uni days, isn't it? Although the roof's soaking now because we didn't open the chimney. Oh, we've got condensation everywhere. So we're gonna get dripped on tonight, how do you feel about that? I just want to go to bed, to be honest. If you can't, you know why? Because we have to go and see the hole in the wall. <laughs> that's right. I'll just use that for Melia, that's fine. So we're back in our thermals after a wonderful five Michelin star Heston Bloom and Gold Ramsey type dinner. How do you feel? Like a new man. Like I'm gonna shit the bed. Oh! <laughs> that well, was spicy! Bit spicy. <laughs> you never know when you're getting Tika. Like, everyone's got different, you know. Spice levels. Spice levels for um, putting in their Tikas, but 
Yeah. That was next level it's spice level. Off that one. It's not great that we haven't got a toilet on board, so um <laughs> should have bought some nappies. <laughs> so we're now <laughs> walking. We're delusional. So we're gonna go and find the, the hole in the wall as Amy calls it. What's it actually called? Anastappy. Anastappy. The legend behind this was that there was two brothers at war and one of them got, got a gun out and shot a bullet straight through it. What, through the hole? Mm. Why, did you see, why did you do that? That's what the hole is, he was aiming it at his brother. That was a big gun. That is total bullshit, Craig. How are you biting into this right now? I'm joking. <laughs> you made it up. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded legit. I believed you then for a second. Back in 1984, when the third was in charge. I was thinking Amy never does any research. How does she know that? Have I got tea in my tea? No, you're good. Oh, that's all right then. But these scenes... Amy, what happened with your research? I don't know. We haven't got any Wi-Fi in the van at the minute. It like drops in and out in certain spots of the, of the country. But um, so when I Instagrammed this place, it showed me a big arch with a big hole and you can stand on top of it. But I'm pretty sure the arch we just saw, like you can't climb on top of it. It looks dangerous. So now I'm like, how on earth do people get up there? It's the only thing I came for. Having a stinker today, aren't we? We're having a big stinker today, yeah. Broken drone, but we didn't even get to the waterfall. Now we've got here and you can't even climb on the arch. Ah, the tikka ah, was too spicy. Ah, what is life? We go and shit ourselves later. <laughs> <laughs> and it's freezing. Should we go and put the bed up and find somewhere to sleep? Technically, for us, it's like midnight at home, which is crazy because it's so light here. But yeah, there's a heater in the van which blows underneath the bed and gets the bed all warm. Oh my nan. Let's go. So this is the spot, but I mean, unless you're an Olympic climber, you ain't getting up there. I, I suggest we go back, do some research, just like go a little bit far, camp somewhere for the night, and then come back in the morning when we know where it is. I don't what? think it's here though. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is what people name it. Arna Stappi! Better bring your ropes tomorrow then, Seth. Bring my ropes tomorrow. Okay, we're back in the beast. Uh, we packed all the bed up and now we gotta find somewhere to sleep. This was the one that I wanted to find um, and it's round here somewhere. No joke. So. It is here, is it? Yeah. So we've gotta find it, Craig. Crack crack, cause I want a photo, Craig. Will you land mental pieces? Eh? Will you take me? You lucky. Okay, so I found the place that it is. It's two miles away. It's like midnight. I'm I'm I am super tired, but I'm gonna put on a song, and um, it's gonna keep me awake. It's like one of my favourite songs. It's a really crap song, but it's really funny. Um, and then and we're gonna go and find him. We're gonna take the picture. It's probably won't even know it. It's before your time, Craig. Turn it up. And I was a little girl, I had a rag doll. <laughs> My oma! She's a keeper! Okay, we're in a new spot. Park the van up. Look at this little spot, it's amazing. There's. The moon, it, you can't, it doesn't look like much, but it's huge and the sky's gone all pink and purple. Bloody lovely! It was fuming. Get me to this place now, or no, get me to bed. Okay, there's a dedicated walkway. So this is what it looks like if you want to come to it. Mm. It's proper smart like. Oh, we found it! So is that arch. There's no water though. Nice spot in there. Thanks very much. <laughs> You're very welcome. Got there in the end. Even even when she was still on it, she was like, this ain't the spot, love. This ain't it. Good job.
So all in all, your typical day out with King in it. Bad research, but loads of fun. Hopefully tomorrow will be a bit more successful, so uh, stay tuned. Yeah, like we'll get up bright and early, like 11 or something. <laughs> Says you. And then, well, it's, it's like it's like half two in the morning right now. So, um, but it is better because it's quieter, like when in the morning, if you go into a spot, like a real touristy spot, there's nobody there. Mm. And obviously because we're in June, the sun doesn't go down. They have no darkness in their summer, which is crazy. So weird. Yeah, we've got a sunroof, so we're gonna close that now and go to bed. If you've just found us, you've typed in Iceland, or you've typed in YouTube weirdos, and you've come across our channel, thanks for hanging around with us. I hope you had a great time press subscribe if you did and for all the guys that have stuck with us through thick and thin through shit travel advice and crappy weather we love you we really do and um, always remember whatever you're doing in life make sure it's you that is ruling your own world ruling your own world all right guys we'll see you tomorrow one two three bye, bye.